Hey guys, it's Han. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through my everyday grooming routine with Fletch. So this is everything that I do before and then after a ride. First up, I just wanted to show you guys my actual grooming box. So this has got all of my brushes in it that I use every day with Fletch. Personally, I like to have something that's more solid like this because I actually use it as a mounting block as well. The first thing I'll do is always, of course, remove Fletcher's rug. Generally, he only wears a cotton when he's in his paddock, but at the moment, the weather's kind of gone cold here again, so he has had a canvas on just to make sure he stays nice and dry. And if any of you are interested, I do always use a bib. If you guys find that your horses tend to get a bit of shoulder rub, definitely would recommend getting one of these because it completely stops Fletch from getting any rub whatsoever. So pretty much the first thing I do when I get Fletch out is I always quickly look him over just to make sure that he hasn't got any cuts or scrapes or anything abnormal. And because I'm super paranoid, I tend to do a touch test on his legs. So I will literally just walk around, quickly brush my hand over his tendons and just see if I can feel any heat or anything unusual, any bumps. And I find it's just a really good habit to get into because you really get to know your horse's legs back to front and then if anything is odd, you pick it up straight away. So for me, the first step is always to grab what some people call a dandy brush, which is basically just a very stiff bristled brush. And I like to just run that over any patches of dirt, um, any caked on mud, just on Fletcher's legs. The dandy brush is quite harsh, so I do only use it on his legs and on his belly very, very lightly because he does tend to get a little bit of dirt on there. And it's basically just to break up the dirt and just get rid of the any chunky pieces. My next step is to always pick out Fletcher's feet. For me, this is like a super important step and I know some people just don't do it, which is crazy, but it's so, so important. You really need to make sure that there's nothing like stuck in your horse's foot or um, anything in there like a stone that could potentially hurt them while you're riding. After that, I move on to brushing Fletcher's mane. So the three tools that I use are, number one, I have my pink comb. Number two, I have a pair of scissors. And number three, I have an Ostra stainless steel pulling brush. So basically you just use that to help pull your horse's mane. And generally on a daily basis, I'll just be using the pink comb. I find that brushing the mane before you brush the body is a better way to go because then if there's like fallout and dust that comes off the mane, you'll kind of collect that up when you brush the body. And as you can see, Fletcher's been having a bit of an itch and he's rubbed out like half of his mane. And I definitely recommend the style of brush that I'm using to brush Fletcher's mane and tail. I find like it's that perfect, like not too hard, not too soft, because I found for ages all of my mane brushes just kept snapping all the time. And this one's just a little bit more sturdy and it's lasted for ages. So definitely would recommend a style like that. After that, I will give Fletcher's tail a quick brush. To be honest, I don't tend to brush his tail every single ride, but I do always pick out any twigs or like bits of grass. And then maybe once or twice a week, I will actually get out like the Cowboy Magic spray conditioner and give it a proper brush like I am now. And a ton of you guys recommended the Cowboy Magic range as being a really good conditioner back on my bathing routine video. If you haven't watched it, I was after like a good conditioner because I hadn't really found one. And I highly recommend the Cowboy Magic. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is the best stuff. And when I spray it in Fletcher's tail, it literally gets rid of the knots so quickly. And I find that it sort of leaves like a, a kind of, not oily, but it leaves sort of like conditioning residue in the tail. So once you've used it once, you'll find that then for the next probably week or so, your horse's tail will actually naturally stay detangled. Like it's amazing, it's the best stuff. And thank you guys for recommending it to me because I love it. I will then literally go in and brush Fletch from head to toe with my body brush. This is more of like a medium strength bristled brush, so like perfect for all over. And obviously, like I said, I will brush Fletch completely all over, his face, everywhere. Um, but I always pay particular attention to where the saddle and the girth are going to sit to make sure there's absolutely nothing that's going to cause any infections or cuts or any issues. And I do tend to just go back over the legs one more time just to make sure I've caught everything there before I put his boots on. I did used to own a smaller version of the same body brush, which I used to use on Fletcher's face. I would definitely recommend if you've got like a slightly smaller brush, I find them a little bit easier to use when you're brushing their face. Not 
not every ride, but roughly once a week. I'll also use some of the Cowboy Magic Spray on Fledge, so I'll spray it onto my little synthetic mitt and then just rub that over some of his neck and rump areas. I tend to avoid where the saddle sits because sometimes it can get a little bit slippery, um, but I just find sometimes it's good just to put a bit of condition and a bit of oil back into his coat um, when it starts to feel a little bit dry. Roughly once a week to once every two weeks, I'll also grab out some baby wipes and just make sure Fletcher's eyes and nostrils are nice and clean. Baby wipes are seriously like your best friend when you've got horses, they are so multi-purpose. I will just say make sure if you do buy some that you get the fragrance free. So I will literally probably never have a ride where Fletch hasn't sweated up. So generally after every single ride I will rinse off his saddle area, his girth area and his legs where his boots were sitting. If he sweated up more than that then I might wash him all over just to help cool him down. But in general I will at the very least just be washing his girth area. And I don't use soap or anything like that, I literally just use my hand and the water just to make sure all the dry sweat and any dirt is completely removed from his skin. He is very sensitive so if he has a bit of sweat left on his skin sometimes he starts to get um, irritated by it. So Fletch does have that classic like chestnut sensitive skin um, so I do find that he gets skin irritations quite easily so generally whenever I see one start to flare up I'll just give him a Malseb bar. Malseb is like an antibacterial, antifungal sort of medicated wash and it just makes sure that if there's any bacteria or anything there it's just going to clean it up and just make sure that it doesn't continue to get worse. So Malifo is like a medicated wash, so if you're having similar issues and your horse's skin is quite sensitive, it could be a really good option, but just make sure that you do check with your vet before purchasing it. So for Fletch, his like hot spots where he gets quite irritated is his legs, on his chest and his mane. So they tend to be the areas that I'll target when I do wash him with this Malifo. But like I said, apart from this, I generally don't use any kind of shampoo with Fletch when I'm just doing my everyday routine. Once the malicep is on, you then leave that on their coat for 10 minutes, so Fletch and I just chill out for a little bit, and then I rinse it off. Once he's washed, I will grab my sweat scraper, um, which I then use just to quickly swipe over. I don't like to use this too much because Fletch doesn't love it, he does have very sensitive skin. This wet scraper I only use sort of legs up, um, I don't like to use it on the legs because it's a little bit too harsh. And then for me the final step is I will grab a towel and just towel dry like his whole body as much as I can. What I do is I'll dry his whole body with this towel um, and then you'll find the towel is quite damp so then I like to take that and actually wipe that over Fletcher's face. At that point the towel's a little bit damp so it's like perfect to use just to rub over their face um, and just sort of get off any sweat or like dirt that was on their face that you couldn't rinse off with the hose. And as you can see, Fletch is really into it because he gets a bit of a face scratch at the same time. And then finally, I'll just do one run down each leg with the towel just to try and push as much of that excess water off as possible. After I've towel dried Fletch, then I like to grab my body brush again and just very quickly run that over his entire body because I do scrub a little bit with the towels just to make sure all his hair is sort of lying flat. And then I like to do one last hoof pick. I don't always do this. For example, if I've just walked on the arena, then I tend not to do it because there's nothing that's gonna get picked up in his shoes. If, however, I've gone either on the cross country course or maybe I've gone down the road for like a trail ride, then I do tend to pick out his feet. 
Lastly, I will always oil Fletcher's feet. I personally like to use the Efol hoof ointment. It's sort of more of like a waxy consistency than like your classic sort of liquidy oil. And I'll try to do the top of Fletcher's hooves after every single ride, but usually once or twice a week, I'll also oil the underneath the Fletcher's feet, especially in summer. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that you can actually oil the bottom of your horse's hoof. So including the frog, it's actually something that's really good to do in summer because you'll find that it just stops that cracking and drying out of their foot that tends to happen once the weather gets hot. But just as like focus points, I'll always make sure I go over the nail holes a couple of times and any surface cracks that are starting to show just to make sure the oil really gets in there. And once that is all done, I then put all of Fletcher's rugs back on, whatever that may be on the day, but definitely his bib and his cotton for sure. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did so that I know. If you're enjoying watching Fletcher and I, then please be sure to subscribe and you can find us on Instagram at hand.equestrian.